All right, people, it is time for the unlimited rocket booster box opening. Probably one of these hasn't been opened since 1999. I don't think it's ever been opened on YouTube. And uh, yep, that's about as much of an April Fool's bit as we're gonna do on this channel. No, we're not pulling a dark Charizard. We are gonna be trying to look for a rainbow Charizard from this Bernie Shadows ETB. And uh, before we get into this, we do have one problem to talk about, actually, and that is print quality. Here we have a rainbow Charizard that we pulled so, oh so recently, but if you take a look, oh my gosh, there's so much edgeware. This is unfortunately pack fresh from uh, one of their more recent print waves. Here is another card. You can see tons of edgeware on the side, and it is your boy Guzma. And uh, yeah, so this set of um, batch of Burning Shadows ETBs that we've been opening, we've been getting absolute home runs of pulls, but the print quality has just destroyed us. That Charizard is what? Maybe a PSA 7 for being pack fresh? That is horrendous. So. We still have some of these left, and I'm hoping at some point the print quality just improves, but I'll be honest, I'm not that hopeful. Ah, uh, whenever you open an ETB, and it's like, ooh, this is pretty well organized. This is what it used to be like, guys. Pretty bad. All right, that should be our packs. Let me put all this on the ground. And here we go. We got eight packs of Burning Shadows. Can we find Another Charizard that is not in terrible quality. But yeah, Turtle here, and here we go with our first pack. And let's take a look. Hmm. Actually, you can see these are like the uncommons. And you can see the edge where this rare doesn't have anything, but I can't remember if I recall correctly. It's the the ultra rares, the full arts, and better that have the whitening, the ridiculous edge wear, which is so unfortunate. But we'll see if that if that holds, if that stays the case for this opening round. A right period, pretty cool. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. All right, there is hope. This is our first ultra rare, and it's a Mar Shadow, and it is in nice condition. It's probably the best quality card in this pack so maybe just maybe and uh, as always guys hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy uh, you know this uh, social distancing is by no means fun for anyone but we have to stay on the safe side for anyone that thinks like oh you know I'm young I'm healthy I can do whatever I want it's not just about you uh, think about the people that you could potentially get sick as well if you were to be irresponsible and not practice social distancing. So, yeah, definitely uh, wash your hands, use a lot of antibacterial wipes, and uh, practice social distancing. And maybe this uh, will be a short distraction from the the potential boredom that everyone's facing. Kind of just staying home. Uh, I think uh, we're expected to be at least in Massachusetts in this state for at least till May 4th. All right, let's see. Let's start getting some good cards. All right, we got one ultra rare so far. You, it is possible like a ultra a ETB with only one hit is not uncommon. In fact, it's probably better than a lot of boxes, but definitely not the one we are looking for. Let's get at least a full art. Of course, the two home runs would be the two cards we looked at earlier. And uh, actually, I want to throw something at you guys. So we do stream uh, PTCGO Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And I want to see if there's any interest out there for a live opening, streamed opening, uh, kind of probably maybe before at the start of our stream or towards actually we'll probably do it at the start so uh what am i doing so we do it from like 7 p.m est for i don't know whatever amount of time it takes to open whatever product we have and then we'll move to our regular scheduled uh ptcgo 
So if you think that'd be pretty cool as opposed to like, you know, these videos coming out every so every uh, few times a week, let me know in a comment down below. Not sure what we would open. Okay, we got another hit. Alolan Muck. So two ultra rares and a single ETV is pretty darn lucky. Fortunately, we didn't get the ones we we're looking for, but as far as hitting a third one, now I'm really not that optimistic. In fact, I'm pretty happy with the results of this box and the rare. So uh, actually, I feel like I see a little bit of whitening. Well, we'll see if it's actually something good first. All right, maybe there is hope for these ETBs. And uh, yeah, if you want to get this product, um, monitor the Discord, the deals channel, monitor the Pokemon TCG deals subreddit. The, every once in a while you still see some of these deals. I think there might be one on Amazon by the time this video goes out. Again, just check out that subreddit, check out the Discord, and don't miss these deals. I think uh, at some point you could pick up these for about 20 bucks. Guzman, nice. Alright, we only got two packs left, but altogether a pretty good box. And we should have the product from last week on a Friday, so we'll have an opening for you guys then. And But then, yeah, we got quite some time before Rebel Clash, and while we do have a lot of products to open, I don't know what you guys want to see, so if there's something specific, uh, let me know. I imagine we can put together most openings, uh, most recent sets. I want to hear from you. Um, if the my assumption might be like hidden fates would be the popular option and if that's the case we do still have some hidden fates to open but yeah let me know we got two hits not too bad all things considered and the biggest the most important thing to me is that it is pretty solid printing quality eh, there's maybe a little bit a couple things over here but not nearly as bad as that guzma and charizard so maybe just some more burning shadows in our near future but uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. I'm One Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.